Hi, I'm VJ, and today I'm going to be painting with Montmartre's H2O Water Mixable Oil Paints. I am not an oil painter, so this is my very third attempt at oil painting. I normally work with watercolors, acrylics, and the occasional gouache, so basically what I'm trying to say is I have no idea what I'm doing. Because <laughs> as I was sketching this with my compact charcoal, I realized that I think I should have done something first, and that's to prime my canvas. Now, as I prime my canvas, my sketch is completely covered with oil paints, and I can't see it anymore. But there's always a solution to everything, and my solution is to just paint my drawing with oil paints and then start applying the shadows and the dark tones so that later on I can apply the highlights and the mid-tones on top of it. Except I started doing it now a little too early. Well, I am learning and this is trial and error and we only learn from our mistakes when we make them or when other people make them. <laughs> So anyway, these H2O water mixable oil paints are water mixable, which is precisely the reason why I bought them from the store. I love the idea that I no longer have to deal with linseed oil and turpentine, which I am not very fond of, and I'll explain to you later. And it feels like working with acrylics, actually, or gouache. Uh, more like acrylics and I love how it has this satiny smooth finish that I can work on and I don't know I really am enjoying these paints and this experience with oil paints uh, I'm really excited to try it another time uh, but for now I'm here to make mistakes that I don't realize that I'm doing for example as my canvas is still wet, I mean my background, the purple one is wet, I started applying ivory black, which is such a bad idea because now it turned my doll, the armor that my figure is wearing, into a grayish color. So that's a bad idea. I should really let the canvas get dry first so that I could get that very black color that I, I wanted so badly. And then I started applying highlights. Which, uh, you know what? I don't want to dwell on my mistakes. I'm just going to make sure that I don't repeat them the next time. So, anyway, on to the paints. This is day two. And my canvas is already dry. So I'm able to finally put on that ivory black color that I've been wanting to put the previous days and it creates more contrasts this time and the black is more opaque and that's exactly what I wanted so I finally achieved it and now let's focus on what the box says about Montmartre's H2O water mixable oil paints. It is a medium to heavy bodied paint which can be diluted with water. Check. Drying times vary between colors and thickness of coatings. The colors include titanium white, mid yellow, orange, cadmium red, pathalo green, cobalt blue, ultramarine violet, and ivory black. Not sure if I pronounce pathalo correctly. Pathalo. Recommended to be used with Montmartre's H2O mediums, which is something I'd be very interested to try the next time. I don't know how to use them, so I'm sure I'll figure it out. Its features are, it's mixable with traditional oil paint, linseed-based mediums, and turpentine, which I so dislike because not only do they smell bad and leave my room smelling nasty, but I don't know how to dispose of them after I've finished washing my brushes with turpentine. I just really don't want to work with them. But with Montmartre's water mixable oil paints, I just mix it with water. And 
these paints can also be mixed with acrylic and gouache paints hmm that's interesting i'd be very very interested to try that out another time i'm very excited uh, also the best thing about this is you can wash your brushes easily with water and gentle soap these paints are amazing i really enjoy working with them uh, as you can see they mix very well they have a very good thickness excellent opacity the translucent colors are also pretty good and then when you dilute them with water the transparency is quite quite good so yes this has definitely renewed my interest in oil painting and i highly recommend it for people like me who do not want to deal with a mess of oil paints but want to try oil painting and just rely on water and soap to wash off the paints off the brushes yes Maltmart, thank you so much for creating these kinds of paints they are so good i'm so glad and i will definitely paint again with these paints in the next few days.